In this problem, we're told a 5 gram bullet leaves the muzzle of a toy rifle with a speed of 320 meters per second. What force, assumed constant, is exerted on the bullet as it travels down the 0.82 meter long barrel of the toy rifle? So imagine this right here is our toy rifle. And so we've got this bullet right here, and it's going to start at rest, right? Because it's in the right, it's in the toy rifle, and then it's going to get powered, uh, powered by some gunpowder. It's going to travel all the way down, and then we know it's going to leave it at 320 meters per second. Right, so we know it's going to travel a distance of 0.82 meters, and then we also know the mass, right? It's going to be point, or 0.5 grams. So what are we trying to solve for? So for this problem, what we're trying to do is solve for force, right? So we're trying to find force, and we don't know what that is. And so the way we're going to solve this is by using Newton's second law of motion, which essentially tells us force is equal to mass times acceleration. And I'll explain why we're using this, right? So notice we can calculate the force if we have mass and acceleration. Right? And we know the mass. The mass of our object is just going to be 5 grams. Okay, But we need the acceleration. And the acceleration isn't explicitly told, but keep in mind what we're given besides that. We're given a distance something is traveling. We're given its final velocity. We're given its initial velocity. Right? Well, it's not told, but we know it's starting at rest, so we know it's 0 meters per second. Right? So the initial velocity is just 0 meters per second. Right? And with all that information, what that should tell you is we can just solve for the acceleration using this information they give us. And we have the mass, so we can just solve for the force. So what we want to do at first is just solve for the acceleration. So notice the variables we're given, right? We're given v sub 0, which is 0 meters per second. We're given the final velocity of this interval, right, which is 320 meters per second. And we're also given the change in the distance, right? The distance is traveling, I'm calling it delta x, which is just 0.82 meters, right? And so what you should know, you should be pretty good at kinematics by now since uh, we covered that a long time ago, but essentially, uh, it's just going to be, right, so you can pick what formula you want to use. The one I'm going to use is v squared equals v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta x, right, because this relates all the variables. And so if you don't remember kinematics, just go look back at it again. But we have the v, we have v sub 0, we have delta x, so we can solve for a. So I'm just going to be plugging in the numbers. So v squared, right, is just going to be 320 squared is equal to v sub 0, which is 0. 0 squared is still 0. And then it's going to be plus 2 times a, which is what we're solving for, multiplied by the change in x. The change in x is just going to be 0.82. All right, so 0.82. And then what we can do is just go ahead and solve. So I'm dividing both sides by 2 times 0.82. All right, that's going to cancel this. So go ahead and do this. So 320 squared, and then divide that by uh, 2 times 0.82. Right? And so when you go, when you're gonna, if you go ahead and do this, you'll get uh, a is equal to 62439.02439, right? So you can round this however you want. So I'm just going to round it to, let's just say it's 62400, and then I'm going to put it in scientific notation. So uh, just going to move it back to, or sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm just moving it back 4, so it's going to be equal to about uh, 6.24 times 10 to the, and then since we moved it 4, 10 to the 4, right? And then the units are going to be what we measure acceleration, meters per second squared, right? So you can take the value that isn't rounded, just make sure you listen to what your teacher wants you to do. But 6.24 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared, that's going to be the acceleration, right? So that's not your answer, but this is the acceleration. And so now what we can do is since we have the acceleration and we were given the mass, we can just solve for the force. So all we have to do is just plug it in. So uh, the mass is just uh, 5 grams, but keep in mind when we do this, uh, force is measured in newtons, and this is measured in meters per second squared, so this has to be in kilograms. So 5 grams, right, uh, we know there's 1,000 grams is 1 kilogram. So all you have to do is divide by 1,000. So you want to do 5 divided by 1,000, right, and when you do that, you're going to get 0 0.005. So it's 0 0.005 kg multiplied by uh, the acceleration, right, and I'm going to use the rounded value if you want the more accurate number, just use that one, right, the non-rounded value, but 6.24 times 10 to the 4, and then it's meters per second squared, right, so go ahead and do this, 0 0.005 times 6.24 times 10 to the 4, and when you go ahead and do this, right, you're going to get equals to 312, right, so about 312, Right, and so uh, if you were to use the more rounded value, you might get something different, right? But it's going to be about 312, so you can round however you want. Uh, but yeah, 
just make sure you do how your teacher wants you to do. I just use the less accurate value, but essentially going to be 312. So 312 newtons, that's going to be uh, the force, right? So the average force exerted on the bullet while it's traveling down. So this right here is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.